Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ashley and Pete Travel. Today we're in Fort Myers, Florida to check out the Edison and Ford Winter Estates. Thomas Edison, famous for electricity and light bulbs, and Henry Ford, famous for Ford. Welcome old friends, hello new friends, let's go on an adventure together. And Peter's here today, say hi. Hello. All right, right when we walk in, we see, looks like Thomas Edison's Ford. It was $482 back in 1916. Hey, Peter. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Cadillac and a Ford. And what's that one down there? Ford. Another Ford. Look at that. Here were some of Edison's inventions. What was Edison's most profitable product? It was the carbon air battery. Who knew? Peter, what's that? What have you? It's pretty. This is what I like, the Edison movies. Some kind of old movie showing things that you would find, and you could pay um, a penny or a nickel to see a small Thomas Edison movie. This is really cool. It's the Black Maria. It did burn down um, a very long time ago, but what it used to do is it would spin based off of the sun's light so that they could get natural light onto the sets, I think. Okay, so I was pretty correct on that. It was demolished in 1903. These are a few radios here and phonographs. Thomas Edison was one of the first filmmakers as well. Most of his films were less than 10 seconds long and recorded in the late 1800s. Look at this one. It was five seconds. What? I know, I said that that was actually Thomas Edison's most profitable invention. Another vehicle. Somebody made this and you can actually design them here. That's pretty neat. That's a, I don't, that's a big light bulb. It's bigger than my head. And here is a recreation of a laboratory. It's really big. We can see a lot of different things in here. This is pretty neat. Right next to me is all one tree. One tree. It's a banyan tree. One tree. Now we left the museum area where we were heading across the street, or we did head across the street, and we're going to go check out the houses of Ford and Edison. Yeah, I don't know whose house this is. We're going to find out if it's either... I think this is Edison's house, I'm pretty sure, the first one. So this was Thomas Edison's house, and I love that they actually still have Edison light bulbs in there. But that's what his house looked like in his Florida estate. Now, you can't go inside, but most of it is very open because back then there was no air conditioning. So they relied on windows and cross breezes to keep the home cool. Here is the family den. It's not very large. That's kind of neat. His bedroom is actually downstairs. So I guess you don't have to go up any stairs to get to the bedroom. It's on the first level. This over here was Edison's guest house. This is right across from the houses. It's a beautiful view. Here is the dining room. Wow. And the sitting room. If you wanted to throw a party in the 1930s, this will probably be the place. The porch itself is very large. I think a lot of people could have a lot of fun out here. Hi, Fishy. And Peter read that the wicker furniture out here is actually original. 
probably had to be taken in during the hurricane because uh, that would have no paint on it or be floated away somewhere. Here's the butler's pantry where they would prepare food. Peter wanted to point out there's actually still food on the table that I guess Edison didn't want to eat. This is a very, very large home. This is just the guest quarters. The other house was Edison's actual house. Now leaving Edison's two homes behind us, we come to the home of Henry Ford. Much smaller, but still really beautiful property. I say smaller, but I mean, it's pretty big. And this home was built in 1911. Right off the porch, there's a bathroom. It's different. And a very different taste here. Much different than Edison. And that is a guest bedroom. Peter, what's that? Kitchen. Kitchen? Yep, yeah, that, that's a kitchen. This is the maid's bedroom. Looks pretty good. And if you look inside the secretary's bedroom at Henry Ford's house, Edison. Phonograph? Is that a phonograph? Radio? Yeah. And upstairs is Henry Ford's bedroom that you don't have access to, but it is indeed up there. So one of those rooms is probably the bedroom. Now coming around to the front of the house, they had a fireplace. There's the fireplace from the inside, and this is just the other side of the house. We were just over on that side. So here's just a different angle. You can't see this from the other side, but here's the dining room. And Peter, you said you like this house better? Yeah, look at the ceiling. That is a much nicer ceiling up it's there. Auspicious. It's auspicious. But it is really neat that these two very influential people of the 20th century were uh, our neighbors. Admission uh, for a guided tour is $30 and admission for a non self, you know, a self guided tour is 25. We went with the self because we only have about an hour to be here. Um, it worked and we got to see a lot of stuff. Now, unfortunately, a lot of this area was damaged by Hurricane Ian in September. You can see there is a tree right there that is down. Most of the stuff has been fixed, but they're still kind of working a little bit more. Um, and this whole area was underwater. Uh, it's since receded and they're really working to make it beautiful again. All right, guys, from Ford and Edison's Winter Estate, thanks for watching. Subscribe as always. Yeah. <laughs>